Nine is the time. Listen to this story. Former soldier from Essex who was medically discharged from the army has rebuilt his life through working with horses. Hugh Forsyth suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder and other physical injuries after serving with the Royal Engineers in Bosnia and Northern Ireland. Hugh received support from charities like Walking with the Wounded and Dare to Live, which helped him to rebuild his life, and he's now promoting their fundraising efforts. And Hugh's with me this morning. Morning, Hugh. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Just take us back to, to army life. We'll, we'll look at after army life, but... When, when you were part of the armed forces, what were you doing? Uh, right, I served uh, in Royal Engineers uh, initially as a combat engineer and I specialised in um, high-risk search teams where uh, I had to look for IEDs um, and uh, bomb-making equipment and stuff out in uh, Northern Ireland, primarily Belfast. And then I was posted to 3-3 Engineer Regiment Explosive Ordnance Disposal, which is bomb disposal. Um, and I worked there for four years in the UK on call-outs into London and also out in Bosnia uh, on, in the mine clearance teams. Crikey, not an easy job. You were in the thick of it, weren't you? Uh, yeah, but I loved it, I must yeah. admit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I suppose there's always the plus and the, 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 the negative. I mean, the negative is, is well, it's, it's as bad as it gets. What, what, what about when you left the army? How did you cope? Uh, right, well, I joined at 16, um, so straight out of school and then um, got injured in Bosnia and uh, damaged my spine. And I was quite quickly medically discharged, which was like um, being thrown off the edge of a cliff, basically. Um, I didn't know anything about civi civilian life. didn't even know what to where to work. Um, I just felt like, um, you know, a, a round peg in a square hole. Um, I just didn't seem to fit into society. And I had a lot of anger and issues going on. Um, uh, within 18 months, I was divorced. I'd attempted to commit suicide twice fallen out with the family, you know, uh, I was bordering on uh, picking up a, a criminal record. Mm. I just didn't know what to do. I was uh, at a complete loss. And, and is it because the army are unable to prepare you for that? Or, or you just think that, that, that nothing's ever going to happen to me? You know, I'm a tough guy here. I'm doing a tough job and, and I'll be OK. You, you kind of put the the uh, risk of being hurt to the back of your mind. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. You've got a job, job, haven't you? Yeah, yeah every guessing. soldier. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what job you're doing. Um, but when the injury happens, it, it is a, a culture shock and a half. And you basically, the, the military did train me up for two weeks to do some fibre optic work. Um, but when you look at the broad spectrum of, you know, what you can do in civilian life, yeah. two weeks yeah. after 12 years is not really um, a lot of reintegration. Yeah, yeah. Can we can just begin to understand it. Well, we can't really if, if we've been in civilian life. I've got a mate that uh, was in the army for a long, long time, and he, he's coped. But even now, you know, 20, 30 years later, he's still, he still, you secretly yearn for that life, and he's always telling me about what he did and where he went and experiences. And Once a soldier, always a soldier. It. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's and that true. is true, yeah. 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 What about horses then? Where did, where did that come in? When did you first team up with them? Right, well, um, about 18 months ago, I'm, I was asked to go for a day just to, to, to see some horses, is what I expected um, I, I ended up doing therapy um, equine facilitated therapy which um, realigned all my body systems and sort of took away the trauma away from the post-traumatic stress that I was experiencing um, and reduced my anxiety levels and then uh, walking with the wounded stepped in um, and said would you like to train as a facilitator um, because they do um, help with training and reintegration into the workforce, give you something solid that you can actually earn money from. Yeah. Um, and Dare to Live said, well, you've got an aptitude for horse whispering and you've got the right sort of qualities to be a facilitator to help other veterans. Um, so now I'm the operations manager of Dare to Live. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> That's a lovely story. And I'm sitting here aware that we've only got another minute or so. And there's so many things I'd, I'd like to... We, we'll get you in again one of these days. You, you're, you're welcome here. Look, look. part of the thing you're doing is helping to promote walking with the wounded. Um, that, 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 I mean, that's Prince Harry's trekking to the South Pole, isn't it? Yeah, he's yeah. Said. He spent, he spent uh, a few hours in a cold freezer last week, I think, yeah. or two weeks ago. Um, preparing to go to the South Pole. He's already been to the North Pole. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, so he's taking injured servicemen who are, you know, it's a double whammy. You leave with an injury and you leave, you know... Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you, you, I mean... Out of your family, basically. That's it. Yeah, well, you've, you, you've served your, your need now, then to yeah. one side. That might not be quite as blunt as that, but in fact, that's how it happens. It's I not think. so much these days, yeah. um, but that's how it feels, yeah. Sure. How can we help? I mean, just be aware of those charities and just support them, I guess. Yeah, promote walking with the wounded especially. I'm now doing a degree in equine facilitated human development, um, which I didn't think I'd be doing, and uh, look out for Dare to Live. 
Okay. If you see any veterans who are suffering with post-traumatic stress, you know, symptoms or having issues, um, point them to Dare to Live and we'll, we'll try and uh, help them out as best we can.